Alright, so for anybody with a John Deere skid loader of this generation, this is an 08 317 wheel machine. Uh, I was working the other day <clears throat> pretty hard. Uh, and I went to push something, and all of a sudden the machine kind of stopped itself. And the it labored to do any kind of movement uh, on both sides of the uh, wheels. Both both uh, <laughs> hydrostatic motors uh, were failing to move in either direction without, you know, tremendous struggling sound. And, uh, you know, you had to have full throttle for it, and it was just making terrible noise. And, however, the boom and the bucket roll were still working perfect, um, you know, independently. If, but if, you know, if you tried to, you know, lift the boom or, or tilt up the bucket, it would uh, stall the machine immediately in terms of movement if you were moving or trying to move. You could only do one or the other. Um, and I traced everything, thinking I had a hydro leak, thinking, you know, I had a, a loose fitting, all this stuff. I mean, I looked everywhere, looked in the manuals, and nothing really, you know, nothing was listed other than the obvious thing, which is your your parking brake solenoid, which is outgoing brake apply pressure. So when you flip your switch inside, it reroutes hydraulic fluid to apply the brakes and then when you flip the switch off um i'm sorry when you flip the switch off your your fluid retracts off the pressure of that piston uh this line is the one that applies pressure um when you hit the parking brake when the machine is operating otherwise it's spring assist um so i was tracing all this stuff through and i just kept feeling like I was starving the machine of hydraulic oil. Again, I changed the parking brake solenoid assembly, OEM, didn't do it. Uh, traced all my lines out, didn't do it. Um, you know, I thought maybe my, I was getting aeration in my fluid. Uh, so, yeah, I came to the conclusion <clears throat> that either I had a restriction in the intake portion of the hydraulic system coming from the reservoir, which didn't seem likely because the, the hose is firm, it wasn't collapsing. But I get reading the schematics and I finally found charge pressure relief valve. It is not an independent part you can buy from the dealer. You have to replace the whole hydro filter assembly. But I'll show you your, uh, your drain hose coming off the solenoid that goes into the tank. The fitting of that actually has this relief valve behind it. And that will come out. You might have to stick your finger up in there because this one is all marred up. Uh, obviously had some movement at <laughs> various times, but it was um, it was kind of wedged in there. So I think I, I found the issue finally. Um, try to use some emery cloth and polish that out, or some uh, some jeweler's rouge or something on a on a mop wheel. And hopefully put this thing back together because the, the manifold itself is 500 bucks from deer. And I don't have 500 bucks for this right now. I'm trying to make money. Anyway, there it is. Charge pressure relief valve. This is responsible for replenishing the hydro motors and for applying or releasing brake pressure, uh, brake pressure uh, in addition to the spring. Um, so yeah, hopefully this is it.